So last week we discuss we've discussed about the solution stoichiometry. So today we will discuss about the collegiative properties of inan electrolytes. So as we all know, we have four types or we have types of properties. You have the vapor pressure, the boiling point, depression, the freezing point, and the osmotic pressure so those four has different way in order to get there uh, in order to solve the problem so some of the formulas or some of the unit are already constant depending sa kanilang solvent so first example is that the vapor pressure so we will discuss first the first property which is the vapor pressure which use Rolt's law so, number one example is that the vapor pressures of water at 28 degrees Celsius is 28.3 mmHg. Find, find the vapor pressure of a solution containing 100 grams of sugar in 500 grams of water at 28 degrees Celsius. So, we have our given. So, we can solve first for the molar mass of sugar and water because we cannot directly solve man for the vapor pressure. So, ang ginapangita dari sa atong question is find the vapor pressure of a solution. So, first, let's solve for the molar mass of the sugar and water. So, we'll get first the sugar So, as we all know, sugar is C12H12O11. So, carbon is 12, ox, uh, hydrogen is 22, and oxygen is 11. So, using their mo uh, molar mass or their atomic mass, we're going to multiply that one. So, 12 times 12, 12 times 1, and 12 times 16. So, 12 times 12 is equivalent to 144. And 22 times 1 is 22. And 11 times 16 is equivalent to 176. So, all we have to do is to add the three elements of the compound. So, 144 plus 22 plus 176 is equivalent to 342 so grams per mole so this is the molar mass of sugar then the second molar mass so we're going to solve next the molar mass of water so H2O so see all know that hydrogen is 2 and oxygen is 1 so same pa rin, just what we did to our sugar. Same gihapon ang process sa ato ang water. So, 2 times 1 is 2. Then, 1 times 16 is yes, 16. So, add natin. So, we have 18 grams per mole. So, we have now our molar mass for our solute and our solvent so our solute here is our sugar and our solvent is our water then second is solve for number of moles of sugar and water so that is the next step so moles so we're going to solve the moles of sugar and water so and c12 h22 O eleven is equals to so one hundred grams. So may ngon mo ma'am, asa nato na ko ka one hundred grams. Si basa tong event is that a solution that contains one hundred grams of sugar. So we'll write down the sugar, which is the one hundred grams. Using so in order to get our mole, so we need to use the molar mass. So times 1 mole over 300 
42 grams. So, cancel out the grams. So, 100 divided to 342 is equivalent to, yes, it is 0 0.29. 0 0.29 mole. So, we have now our mole for sugar. So, we can also solve next for the mole of our water. So, N H2O is equal to 500 grams. So, ma'am, asa nakuha ang 500 grams? So, asa to question? Water contains 500 grams. So, you need talaga to analyze the problem before going to or before you are solving. So, same for our sugar, we need to use the molar mass. So, cancel out the grams. Mabilin is the mole. So, 500 divided to 18. So, it is equivalent to 27.78. 27.78. So, we have now our mole for sugar and water. So, actually, this uh, pressure or the vapor pressure, there is a connection yung ating last panalason. Yung uh, before the solution stoichiometry, the solution doon na topic. So, there is a connection or properties of solution. Diba doon, we solve for the percent by mass, percent by volume, mole fraction, molarity, and molality. So, there is a connection sa ato ang uh, vapor pressure. That's the reason why una na to, to siya gi he or gi lesson para mas maintindihan na nato ato ang mga next pa na mga discussions. So, third, we're going to solve the mole fraction of sugar and water. So, mole fraction na ta. So, mole fraction of both compound. So, first, we're going to get the fraction or mole fraction of our sugar. So, N sugar So, are we going to use the XA is equals to N B over N N A plus N B So, that is the, the ano, formula that we are going to use. So, we're going to use the mole of sugar. 0 0.29 over. We're going to use also Na, which is the mole of the water, which is 27.78 plus the mole of our sugar which is 0 0.29 so by this one we can now solve for our mole fraction of our sugar so 0.29 over 27.78 plus 0 0.29 is equivalent to 0 0.01 so, we have now our mole fraction for sugar. So, we're going to solve also the mole fraction of our water. So, the same process with our mole sugar. So, N H2O is equals to XB is equals to N A over N A plus N B. So, mole na ang difference between the X A and the X B or between the solution or between the solute and the solvent. So, our N A which is the 
27.78 over 27.78 plus 0 0.29 So we're going to add 27.78 and then we're going to divide it by 27.78 and once our results are 27.78 divided to 27.79 So our mole fraction for our water is 0 0.79 99. So that is the mole fraction of our water. So hindi pa dyan nagtatapos ang ating uh, sol solving. Kasi hinahanap natin dito is the vapor pressure of the solution. So we're going now. So since nakuha na nato itong molar mass, the mole and also the mole fraction of our solute and our solvent, we can also solve for our uh, vapor pressure of the solution. So, actually, in this problem, pwede tamo gamit og duha. We can use the Rolle's law or we're going to use the vapor pressure depression. So, first, we're going to use the Rolle's law, so which is vapor pressure of solution is equal to xb multiply to pa or it is the solvent n also so xb stands for the mole fraction of solvent and uh, PA, then may nakalagay na mako, it is the vapor pressure of E, pure solvent. Or wala din siya dali. Sorry. So, ganyan ang formula ng Rolle's Law XB or X multiplied P. So, which, which is kanisha, it stands for mole fraction of solvent and this one stands for the vapor pressure of pure solvent so let us continue so we have our 0 0.99 0 0.99 so this is xb is the mole fraction of our solvent so, since our solvent is water man, so that's the reason nga kara ato ang gigamit to get our uh, vapor pressure. Multiply to to multiply to 28.3 28.3 mm HG. So, I multiply lang na siya. Vera. So, after multiplying that one, we can now get our answer. So, 0 0.99 multiplied to 28.3. So, the answer is 28.02 mm hg. So, this is now our vapor pressure of the solution. So, this is our answer. So, well, this is the final answer or the last step of getting the vapor pressure of solution if you're going to use the Rolle's law. Yan. So, this is the, the name of the formula that we've used. This one. Pero, Kung gusto ninyo tong the other way, we have also, if we're going to use the vapor pressure depression. So, ganyan siya ang process. So, this is the formula that are we going to use. So,
So, this one stands for the vapor pressure lowering or change in vapor pressure. And kanina man siya stands for the mole fraction of the solute. Then, this one stands for the vapor pressure of a pure solvent. So, ano ni siya ang pag-answer? So, 0 0.01 So, asa na kuha ang 0 0.01? So, that one class is the solute or the pure or the solute or ato ang sugar. Kaya diba, X stands, XA man stands for the mole fraction of solute. So, that's the reason why 0 0.01 atong gigamit. And our P, same sa ato ang gigamit ganina, which is the 28.3 mm Hg. So, we come up with an answer of 0 0.2 0 .283 mm Hg. So, hindi pa dyan natatapos Kasi, kailangan man sila nag the same answer. So, kung gusto ni mga kanilang na process, okay, pwede ni siya. So, kung gusto ni mo tong, ano process which is using the vapor pressure of depression, so, napa ni siya second step. So, P, solen, or the vapor pressure of the solution is equals to minus so, which means that The vapor pressure of pure solvent minus to the vapor pressure of lowering or change in vapor pressure. So, which means that we're going to use this one for this uh, formula. So, here we have the 28.3 mm Hg. G minus, so which is 0 0.283. So, if we're going to subtract or imong i minus sing duha, which is the change of your or vapor pressure lowering or vapor change in vapor pressure and also the the ano, vapor pressure of your solvent. So, we will come up with the same answer. So, 28.02. So, as you can see, we have the same answer. So, pili lang kadira kung ano sa imong gamiton. Masawi come up with the same answer and the right unit and also the right number na dapat ni mo i-transpose sa each uh, formula. So, kay, even though we have the same tapos mali po din gamit because this first way we use the Rolls law and the second part we use the law of depression or the depression or vapor pressure depression. So, at the end of the ano solving, pareha gyapon taog solution. We have uh, 28 Point zero two. So that is the final answer of our question, which is we're going to get the vapor pressure of a solution that contains sugar and water. So as you can see, diba, ang haba-haba ng proseso, but we come up with the same, the same answer. For a second example, the same gihapon ang kailangan na to i-calculate. We're going to calculate the vapor pressure of solution. Which, again, contains sugar and water. So, in this ano, problem, the molar mass is already given. So, the molar mass of sugar, which is 342 grams per mole. And the molar mass of water, which is 18 grams per mole. So, our sugar is 342, 342 grams per mole. 
and our water which is 18 grams per mole. So, given na siya sa ato ang question and sa, or sa atong sample problem. So, all we have to do na lang is to directly solve for the number of moles, mole of fraction, and then solve for the vapor pressure of solution. So, in this second item, we were not going to use the ano, vapor pressure of depression or vapor pressure depression. But, ano siya, kumbaga, shortcut, kung ba kung given na ang molar mass, what is the other way? Kung dili na ito gamitan ang vapor pressure depression, o diretsyo na ito gamitan ang Routes Law. So, first, solve for the moles. So, our sugar, which is uh, sugar, so, we're going to get the mole of our sugar. So, we have 600 grams. Sugar multiplied to 1 mole over 342 grams. So, cancel out our grams. Then, matira na lang is the mole for the sugar. Since mole man natin napangita, di ba, para sa sugar. So, if you're asking, ma'am, asa nakuha ang 600 Read again the problem because the sugar contains 600 grams and the water contains 1000 grams. So, 600 divided to 342, we will be having a 1.75 mole. So, we have now our mole for sugar. The next for mole for water. So, 1000. Multiply to 1 mole over 18 grams. Cancel out the grams. So, 1,000 divided to 18, we will get 55.6. 55.6 mole. So, we have now our mole for the both compound of a solution or the compound that is present in our solution. So, since... Ang kailangan lang na ito kuhaon is the vapor pressure of solution. And we already know na diba that a Routes law, it is a vapor pressure of solution over the vapor pressure of pure a solvent multiply to, multiply to the vapor pressure of pure solvent. So, we're just going to use the mole fraction of solvent and the vapor pressure of pure solvent. So, letter B, we're going to get the mole fraction of our solvent, which is the water. So, there is no need to get the mole fraction of water, or I mean the sugar. Pero if you're going to use the depression, so you can solve talaga the mole fraction of sugar. But since here in my second example, nili na nako kuhaon pa ang mole fraction of our sugar. So, N H2O is equals to XB so equals to over NA plus NB. So, transpose 55, 55.6 over 55.6 mole plus 1.75 mole. So, we have now we have now our mole fraction of water which is 0 0.969 0 0.969 so here it is we have already or nanatay mole fraction of our solvent so we can also solve for the vapor pressure of the Solution. So, we're going to use the Rolls Law. So, 
So we're P is equals to X multiply to so this we're going to use so mole fraction of our solvent multiply to our vapor pressure of a pure solvent so 0 0.969 multiply to vapor pressure of pure solution which is 23.6 yeah. so 0 0.969 multiplied to 23.6 the answer is 22.9 mmhg so this is now our final and sir so 22.9 is the vapor pressure of a e solution so don't forget talaga class to write each unit okay there's a tendency that even though your answer is correct but your process is wrong because of the unit that you emit or the unit that you use so the tendency you will be going to have a wrong answer and para iwas tolerate tayo kasi pag nakasanayan mas ginagawa siya always so that is for the vapor pressure example. So so since we are done with the pure or the vapor pressure, so the second uh, cognitive properties of non-electoral solution is we have the boiling point so as we all know a boiling point is a solution wherein the temperature at which its vapor pressure is equal to the external atmospheric pressure so don't worry about the formula class i will be i will post the powerpoint which shows all the uh definition and also the the formulas of each types of colligative collegiative properties and also the meaning of each uh, part sa formula kay para mas maintindihan nyo and also some part mga of the collegiative properties they are part of the formula na constant ang ilahang number so you can ano lang for example there are given pati nga alam muna ay naggawas na number with bisan dili siya available sa inyuhang problem because those ano mga good part of the formula Ang, ang number nila is already constant and we can't change that one. Labi na mga boiling point, freezing point. So, di gini mo na siyang bago. Like sa water, di ba? Constant pa ang zero in terms of freezing. Then, ang in terms of boiling, constant tapod na ang 100 degree Celsius. So, this second collegiative properties is boiling point. So, we have an example. So, according to this example, calculate the boiling point of elevation or boiling point elevation and the boiling point of sugar solution made by dissolving 218 grams sucrose in 756 grams of sugar. Which means, a sugar solution contains sucrose or sugar and water. So, always mag know that our water is our solvent. And our sugar is our solute. So, based on the problem, given atong mass of solute, mass of solvent, and our uh, also given atong boiling point of, uh, wala siya sa given, but it is already constant. Ang ato ang boiling point of pure solvent and the uh, boiling point of elevation. So, it is constant yihapon. So, ato ang boiling point of elevation for solvent is 0 0.52 degree per M. So, M is the molality. So, pag dili given or kailangan ni mo i-cancel uh, out, so, ang M is equivalent to or molality is equivalent to mole over kilogram. Then, 
our boiling point of your of solvent is 100 degrees Celsius. So, moto siya ato ang given. Then, our unknown is the boiling point of elevation and the boiling point of solution. So, just like our vapor pressure, the same gihapon, get the molar mass, solve for the solute. Ana, gina siya. And, ang uh, kaibahan lang din sa boiling point is we need to solve for the molality. So, first, solve for the molar mass of our sugar and our uh, our water. Near our water. So, C H O. So, as we all know naman, diba, that the sugar has a 342 molar mass or grams per mole. So, ito lang yapon siyang isol para delete mo mga kuratan sa ato mga second part nga nung asa manigikan. So, ito yapon siyang i-by process. So, 12... 1.16 So, 12 times 12 144 22 and also we have 176 So, i-add pa rin natin So, we got 342 grams per mole So, same with molar with uh, sugars Alaan nga po nato atong water. So, 1 times 16. So, 2. Then, here, 16. So, add, we have our 18 grams per mole. So, we have now our molar mass for the sugar solution. The water and the sugar. Second is get the mole of solute. So, which means that our solute is the sugar. So, mole of solute. So, our solute has 218 grams. 218 grams multiplied to 1 mole divided to 342 grams. Cancel out 300, so 218 divided to 342. So we have now 0 0.637 7 mole. So which means we have our mole of solute. And third, we get the mass of our. Solvent. So the reason why we are solving for the solute and solvent is that we could ano uh, get our molality. Diba to molality it is mole over kilogram. So we have seven hundred fifty six. Seven hundred fifty six grams multiplied to one kilogram divided to 1000 grams so we need to convert grams into kilogram so we have now our 0 0.7 i mean 0 0.506 kilograms so we have now our mo our solute and our solvent so we can also solve for our molality so m is equals to mole over Kilogram. So, copy this one, 0 0.637 mole over 0 0.756 kilogram. So, our answer is 0 0.843. So, naanatay molality. So, since we have now our molality, Pwede na nato isolve atong boiling point of elevation and our boiling point of solution. So, letter E. So, boiling point of elevation. So, we're going to use the formula, formula which is 
uh, proportional siya. So, we're going to use the kaya kung ano man na itong elevation. So, boiling point of elevation is equals to boiling point of elevation which is constant and we're going to use the molality. So, this is the formula for the boiling point of elevation is equal to and M. So, now we can solve for this. So, 0 0.52 degrees Celsius over M multiply to our molality which is 0 0.8 for 3 M. So, we can now cancel out our molality. So, ang bilang na to is our degree Celsius. So, our answer for the boiling point of elevation is 0 0.438 degree Celsius. So, this is now our boiling point of elevation. So, this is our answer. And the last one is we're going to get the boiling point of a solution, which means that we're going to use the boiling point of elevation to solve for the boiling point of a solution. So, for our boiling point of solution, which is the last one, so boiling point of solution. Kaya iba dalawa ang ginapangita sa ato ang problem. The boiling point of the elevation and the boiling point of solution. So, this is a formula that we are going to use. So, boiling point of, of, boiling point of solution is equivalent to plus. So, boiling point of pure solvent plus boiling point of elevation. So, this is the formula that we are going to use. So, boiling point of pure solvent is, ano na siya class? It is constant. So, it is 100 degrees Celsius. 100 degrees Celsius plus. So, itong answer na ito kaganina sa atong elevation mo. Ito atong gamitin dali. Para makuha na ito atong boiling point of solution. So, it is 0 0.438 degrees Celsius. So, our answer is yes, it is correct. So, our answer is 100.438 degree Celsius. So, this is now our boiling point of solution. So, that is our final answer for the boiling point of solution. So, this one is a constant uh, temperature of a boiling point of a pure solvent. Kasi, diba, our solvent is water and the temperature of boiling point of water is 100 degrees Celsius. So, this 0 0.438, kung mga tanong mo, asin yung nakuha, dito na ganina sa ato ang boiling point of elevation. So, Mona siya tong final answer. For number 2 example of uh, boiling point, so dito naman is we're going to get or we're going to solve the grams of table sugar must be added to a 200 grams to raise the boiling point of water from 100 degrees Celsius to 102 degrees Celsius. So, which means that we have the boiling point of the pure solvent, which is the water, 100 degrees Celsius. And our 102 degrees Celsius is our boiling point of the solution, which means that the boiling point of solution is already combined. So, pila daw ka grams ang kailangan natong ibutang or i-add sa ato ang table sugar para ang ato ang boiling point is mag-raise from 100 to 
102 degrees Celsius. So our given, we have mass of solvent, which is a 200 grams of water. So we're going to another that one convert to so 200 divided to 1,000, so we'll get a kilogram. Kasi as you all know, diba, for the, or for our mulaliki. So, and also we have our boiling point of solvent or the boiling point of elevation which is 0 0.52 degrees Celsius per molality and our boiling point of your solvent is 100 degrees Celsius and boiling point of the solution which is the 102 so step one so you're going to get the um going to get the boiling point of elevation and to get the boiling point of elevation diba, is that we need to subtract so the boiling point of boiling point of elevation so you're going to use the TB minus or we're going to get the boiling point of elevation by using the boiling point of the solution and the boiling point of the pure solvent. So actually, it is a proportion to siya gihapon sa atong gigamit sa atong example number one, which is we use the boiling point of elevation to multiply by, by our molality. So, let first we have the so, mo siya atong gamito. Boiling point of elevation gihapon ni siya is equals to minus boiling point of the pure solvent. So, we use the boiling point of the pure solvent and the boiling point of the solution. So, 102 degrees Celsius minus 100 degrees Celsius. So, we have now 2 degrees Celsius, which means that our temperature or the boiling point of elevation is equivalent to 2 degrees Celsius. And now, we can now solve for our molality. So, M is equivalent to boiling point of elevation over over the boiling point or over the boiling point of so boiling point of elevation or boiling point of elevation over boiling point of elevation which is constant so 2 degrees Celsius So, 2 degrees Celsius, 2 degrees Celsius, over. So, does this 0 0.52 is constant or boiling point of the solvent. So, is constant. So, 0 0.52 degrees Celsius. M. So, cancel out the degree Celsius. Mabili is our molality. So, as you all know that molality is equivalent to mole per kilogram. So, 2 divided to 0 0.52 is equivalent to 3.85. 3.85. Eighty five M um, or three point eighty five mole per kilogram. So we have now our molality, and the third one is we're going to solve the mole of our solute. So mole of solute is equivalent to molality multiplied to our mass of solvent. 
So, itong kuhao, no, is the mole, mole of solute. So, as you'll know, that mole of solute is equivalent to molality multiplied to the mass of solvent. So, molality, so, molality is equivalent to 3.85 mole per kilogram multiply to so, ang sa itong i-multiply? So, it is the mass of the solvent, which is equivalent to 0.200 kilogram. So, in order for us to cancel out the kilogram and mabilin ato ang mole. So, cancel out the kilogram. So, we can now have our answer. So, ma'am, if you're asking, asa nakuha ang 0.200? So, remember in our questions that our water contains 200 grams. As we all know that in molality, it is kilograms. So, kailangan na to siya i-transpose. That's the reason why it becomes 0.200 kilogram. Kaya ba? 200 grams multiply to 1 kilogram over 1,000 grams. Cancel out na to ang grams. Mabilin ang kilogram. So, it is equivalent to 0.200 kilogram. So, dira na to nakuha ato ang mass of the solvent. So, mole of solute is equivalent to molality multiplied to the mass of solvent. So, 3.85 multiplied to 0.200. So, it is equivalent to 0.769 mole. So, we have now our mole of solute. Pero, ang ginapangit ta is the grams of our solute. So, we're going to solve for the grams of our solute, which is the sugar. So, naan naman tayo mole. So, paano na ito makuha ang ato ang grams? So, first, we're going to get the molar mass of the sugar, so as we all know that the molar mass of sugar is 342 grams per mole. So, kabalo naman tano kung paano na ito na ginasolve itong molar mass. We can also solve for our mass of our, so our solute. So, for the mass of solute, so, or the grams, or the mass of solute. So, 0 0.769 mole multiply. So, kailangan na ito makancel out ang ato ang mole. So, 342 grams over 1 mole. Okay, kung sa taas na ito ang atong mole, dili na ito siya ma-cancel out. So, cancel out the mole. So, we have now our mass of solute. So, which is, so, 0 0.769 multiply to 342. So, we have 263 grams of our solute, which is the sugar. C12H22O11. So, this is now our mass of Solute. So, this is what happened if we're going to solve for the mass of our solute. So, that is our final answer. Third example of the collegiative properties is the boil, or I mean the freezing point of depression. So, don't you worry again. So, all the formulas and definition of the collegiative properties will be written or will be passed to you through a PowerPoint presentation. So that if you have, ano, kadiliman na ninyo dahil magkuha and just a reading or answering all the given question nga akong ihatag diri. So, mas better po nang naamay copy. So, our third type is freezing point of depression. 
So some are not a formula. There is a freezing point that it is um, proportional. So depende kung unsa ang given nga available. So kung ang given available or ang given sa question is na ana ang molality, so we can use the other ex, other formula. So you can check this all the formulas on my PowerPoint presentation. So our first example is that we're going to get the we're going to solve for the freezing point depression wherein an iodine contains 155 grams of uh, crystal iodine is added to 1200 grams of benzene so by this given pwede na nato mas solve ang ato ang molality so we're going first to solve for the molality so, as you all know naman daw, molality is mole over kilogram. So, our iodine is 155 grams. Multiply to the molar mass of benzene. So, 1 mole over 254 grams. Cancel out. This is benzene. So, dili makancel out ang benzene. So, multiply again to iodine over 1,200 grams of the benzene. So, since dili man na tumakwa at molality because it is grams, so we need to convert. So, 1,000 grams over 1 kilogram. So, cancel out the grams. So, ang mabili na lang nato is our mole and our kilogram. So, 155 divided to 254 divided again to 1,200 and then multiply to 1,000 grams. Our answer is Yes, it is 0 0.509 M. Small m plus ha kay, it is molality. Remember, pag molality, small m, molarity, big M, or capital M. So, as you all know, that M is also equal to mole over kilogram. So, we can also solve for our freezing point of depression. So, since we have our molarity, so, pwede na nato siya gamiton. Hi, our molar freezing point, the point of depression is constant man. So, we can also solve for our freezing point of depression. So, our formula, freezing point of depression is equal to the molal molal freezing point multiply to molality so our molal freezing point of benzene is 5.21 0.21 degree celsius per molality multiply to our molality which is point five zero nine m so what we what will happen so kita bo is to cancel out the molality so mabili nato is a degree celsius so we can now have our freezing point of depression so we're going to you to do is multiply the two so 5.21 multiply to five or point five hundred nine is equivalent to 2.61 degree Celsius. So, this is now our freezing point of depression. And that is our final answer. So, for our solution, so we're going to solve for the boiling point and the freezing point. 
sa so, diba we already know that the solution contains a benzene and biphenyl and we're going to get the boiling point and the freezing point of the solution so which is dalawa tong kwaon duha sa isa ka question so i hope you follow, followed so our given is our given ato here is a uh, biphenyl contain, contains 2.40 grams and our benzene contains 75 grams and the molar mass of the biphenyl is 154 so we're going to solve for the boiling and the freezing point so tb we have the 8.01 and the tb is the 2.53 degree celsius per molality so this part is for boiling point and dito na part is for the freezing point so constant na siya class so you cannot change that one the freezing point and the boiling point of benzene and biphenyl or the by or the benzene so first we're going to solve the boiling point before tama proceed sa ato ang freezing point so step one is we're going to solve for the molality so where is which is molality so 2.40 grams multiplied to one mole over 154 grams so divided to 75 grams multiplied to one kilogram over 1,000 grams. So, cancel out, cancel out, cancel out, cancel out. So, actually, pwede ni mo na siya isa-isahon. Pwede ni mo unahon kuha ang imong mole. Then, the second is, kung ano po ni mo imuhang kilogram or your mass of the solvent. So, 2.40 divided to 154 and also 75 divided to 1000 so we have 0 0.208 m or this is our molality so step so for second steps is we're going to get now our boiling point of elevation so we have first which is constant we're going to copy this one. So, 2.53 degrees Celsius per M. Multiply to our molality, which is 0 0.208 M. So, cancel out our M. So, mabili na to is the boiling point. So, we can now have, or which is the boiling point of elevation. So, 2.53 multiplied to 0.208. So, the answer is... 0 0.526 degree Celsius. So, that is our answer. And third step, in order to calculate the boiling point. So, step 3... So, AB is equals to plus boiling point of elevation. So, we're going to add lang. So, copy this one. 80.1 degrees Celsius plus the boiling point of elevation, 5 to 6 degrees Celsius. So, our boiling point is 80.6 80.6 degree Celsius. So, that is our boiling point of the solution. So, since we now are tapos na natin isolve yung ating boiling point, so, we will proceed to the freezing point of solution. So, yung freezing point naman ang ating isosolve. Freezing point of solution. So, 
step one is same kung unsa ang atong gisog sa so step one sa ato ang boiling point. So, we just copy or use the value of molality from the boiling point for step two. So, which means that our step one is considered na. So, copy na lang the molality of the step one. So, our molality is 0 0.208. So, we can now proceed to step 2. So, according to step 1, copy the molality in order to solve our problem. So, our formula is equals to PFM. So, we will use the proportion. So, where it is freezing point of depression is equivalent to molar freezing point multiplied to the molality. So, copy this one. Just copy. 5.12 degrees Celsius per molality multiplied to the molality which is 0.208 M. Cancel out. Then, our Freezing point of depression is 1.06 degree Celsius. So, this is the answer for our step 2 or the boiling point or the freezing point of depression. Then, step 3. So, in order to get the freezing point of solution, so this is our formula. is equals to minus or sub subtract so that, of, that is one so to get the freezing point of solution is equivalent to freezing point of pure solvent minus the freezing point of depression so, just copy 5.5 .5 degrees Celsius, subtract to 1.06 degrees Celsius. So, our freezing point of pure solvent is 4.44 degrees Celsius. So, this is our freezing point of solution and our last type of collegiative properties is osmotic pressure so if you're familiar with osmosis so there is a relationship with it so as you all know osmotic osmotic pressure is proportional to molarity so as you observe that the other types of collegiative properties use molality but here in osmotic pressure we use the molarity where in molarity is equivalent to solute over solution or volume of Solution. So, yun yun yung pinagkaiba nila ni molality because in molarity is small of solute over volume of solution while or liter of solution while the molality is used mole of solute over the kilogram or the mass of solution. So, our osmotic pressure is in yung unit is pi. So, we use pi or radius, partial radius, or is equivalent to MRT or molarity multiply to the gas constant multiply or gas constant multiply to the temperature in Kelvin. So, so you'll know that Kelvin, but for example, this is osmotic pressure equivalent to MRT. So, NM stands for molarity R stands for the gas or gas constant which is equivalent to 
zero point zero eight two zero six liter over mole okay. Kelvin and T is for the temperature which is we use the unit Kelvin Kelvin scale so, and as we all know kung, kung sob tag Kelvin at as temperature baki is equivalent to degree Celsius plus 273.15 So, muna atong ginahimo para magpa na to ato ang Kelvin na temperature. So, for this number one example, we have what is the osmotic pressure of solution prepared by adding 13.65 grams of sucrose so, it is, again, sugar in water, our solvent, to make 250 ml of solution at 25 degree Celsius. We have our given the mass of solute and the volume of solution, which is 250 ml. So, we're going to convert 150 ml to liter. So, the volume of solution equals to 250 ml multiply to 1 liter 1 liter over 1000 ml para ma ano na to ang ml so 250 divided to 1000 so it is 0. 0.250 so convert na na siya so this is now our volume of solution in a molarity so since we have no r volume solution r r is equivalent to 0 0.8206 liter ni siya class this is liter constant na siya ha and our temperature is 298 kelvin so how did we get the temperature so, for the T, we use the Kelvin. So, okay. Our Kelvin is equals to, our given here is 25 degrees Celsius. So, degrees Celsius plus 273.15. So, we have to raise to add. So, 273.15 plus 25. So, 0.15 15 so 3 plus 5 is 8 so 7 plus 2 is 9 so we have 298.15 Kelvin so we have now our temperature so I don't know na not given so you can now solve for first the molar mass. So, as you all know, molar mass of our sugar, which is C12 H22O11. So, CHO. So, mga kadugayan class, memorize na ninyo ning molar mass sa sucrose or sa ato ang Sugar, 144, 22, 176. So, it is 342 grams per mole. So, we have now our molar mass and solve. Next is we're going to solve for the solute. So, moles of solute. So, 13 point 65 multiplied to 1 mole over 342 grams so cancel out the grams 13.65 divided to 342 so it equals to 0 0.04 
mole. So we have now our mole of solute and our molar mass of the sugar. So you're asking, Mom, asa na kong 13.65? Read again the problem. So because 13.65 is the component of our solute. So, we can now solve for our molarity. So, given na naman ito ang mole of solute and our volume of solution. So, for CM, solve for M. So, 0 0.400 mole over 0 0.250 liter. So, divide lang ng dalawa. So, we can now have our, our molarity. So, 1 point, uh, 0 0.160. So, we can also solve for our osmotic pressure. So, our MRT is na na, na solve na. So, yun natin may hirapan, 0 0.160 mole per liter. Multiply to 0 0.08206 L atmospheric over mole Kelvin. Multiply to our temperature which is 298.15 Kelvin. So, first, we need to cancel out. So, liter mole Kelvin. So, cancel out na na sila. Ang nabilin is atmospheric. Or the osmotic pressure. Unit of, that mo of the osmotic pressure. So, 0 0.160 multiply to 0 0.8206 multiply to 298.15 is equals to, so our answer is 3.91. So, that is our answer. So, paano na ito? Ito ang atmospheric or atong osmotic pressure. So, always remember na pag mukha tayo osmotic pressure, it's either we use, this, we use that formula or depende sa gina pangayo or gina or ato ang problem. Sometimes man go that problem is daily given ang iba na mga numbers. So, for yes, sa molarity, dili mo na siya diretsyo given. Some of the problems, dili given ang molarity. So, kailangan pag hindi mo siya isolve ang molarity. Sometimes, ang Kelvin, ang ginahatag lang is the degree Celsius. So, kailangan hindi mo na siya i-moon. So, you're just going to add lang. Pag molarity, molarity, divide lang. Don't forget, class, the unit hang. Molarity, big M. Molality, small m. Kaya muna yung problem last lesson na to. Munong daghan kayo magmali. Kaya inyong molarity, bis dapat na kapital, na uh, small letter.